The story begins with an ominous meeting between villain Slade Wilson and the Harbinger of Death, Trigon. Trigon claims it is time for the prophecy to be fulfilled for a portal to be opened while the planets are aligned. In exchange for his wish, Slade promises to bring Trigon Raven's gem so he can release him from his prison as an army of fire demons rises from the ground. Raven later wakes up with the runes all over her body, which she realizes is a sign that Trigon is coming and she fears it is the end of the world. At the Teen Titans Tower, Raven decides to cook the team breakfast, which everyone thought was unusual. When she presented them with burnt pancakes, Starfire wonders what the occasion is. Raven explains that she just wanted to do something nice for her friends. Left with no choice, the team ate the pancakes, but like what they expected, they did not think it tasted well, except for Starfire, who enjoyed it as it reminded her of food back on Tamaran. Seeing that breakfast didn't turn out well, Raven wondered if the others wanted to hang out, but Robin claimed the city needed saving. When they reach the city, they find Plasmus is wreaking havoc, to which Raven is disappointed at how their last day is stopping your run-of-the-mill villain. Cyborg uses an entire building to whack at it, sending him flying away, but it isn't enough to knock him out. In retaliation, Plasmus attacks Cyborg, but when he blasts him, the scattered pieces gathered towards Cyborg and swallowed him whole. Starfire flew directly into Plasmus, freeing Cyborg. When Plasmus tried to attack them, Raven shielded them with her powers and pushed him back. Plasmus retreats and rips apart a tanker, drinking its sludge to make himself stronger. Beast Boy tries distracting him, but gets caught and covered in snot instead. Raven has just had enough and decides to use her powers and blows him up from the inside, which knocks out Plasmus from the explosion. After a hard day's work, Raven invites everyone out for pizza, who later argue among themselves over who gets the last slice. Starfire wins them after voluntarily flying into the goo, which the others didn't contest, given that she is all fired up. As they enjoy the rest of the day at the park, the team notices Raven's bizarre behavior after she willingly agrees to Cyborg's invitation to Extreme Stankball. When Raven explains that she just wants to spend the day with her friends, the sky suddenly turns black, and Raven loses her strength, falling to the ground. When they see her runes glowing, Robin suspects that Trigon is coming and that it is the end of the world. Cyborg carries Raven back to the tower, where Robin reveals the secret room they had been preparing for such an occasion. Raven claims they are no match for Trigon and should run and save themselves. But Robin insists they're not giving up on her and the world. Robin explains that they need to keep Raven away from Trigon, as she is the portal for it to travel to our world. Cyborg reassures her that he has installed the latest state-of-the-art technology to keep her safe, while Starfire shows her the runes they engraved into the walls to keep everything out. Which they took from one of her books. Although she appreciates the effort they put into it, Raven thinks it wouldn't help them beat Trigon. Before the day's end, Trigon informs Slade that it is about time he made do with his promise. Although Raven thinks it's pointless to fight Trigon, seeing her friends risk their lives for her makes her realize that they may be able to defeat him. Raven hears Trigon's voice out of nowhere, and he claims she will always be a part of him. As she tries to get him out of her head, Trigon overpowers her and claims that no matter how hard she tries to hide it from her friends, she cannot deny the evil within and what she is expected to do. Slade and his fire demons have reached the Titan's Tower, but the Teen Titans thwart them. Robin confronts Slade, but he was blown away by the new powers that Trigon gave while others handled the fire demons. They tried to fend them off, but they were quickly overwhelmed and outnumbered. Furious, Cyborg decides to stop all of it, so he links up with the tower and uses the energy to blast away the enemies. The fire demons were blown away, and although Slade is on his knees, he remains unscathed. He then uses his powers to summon his fire demons again. This time, the Teen Titans have been captured. When Slade is about to deal the finishing blow, Raven stops him and demands they be released, and in exchange, she will go with him. Despite Raven's decision to give up herself, the Titans still tried to save her. When they wouldn't listen to her, Raven was forced to use her powers on them and knock them out. She then willingly goes with Slade to fulfill the said prophecy. 
As they headed deeper into the sanctum, Slade claimed that everything had already been prepared for Trigon's ascent. Raven explains that he was a fool for making a deal with Trigon, as she claims he won't deliver on what he promised. When Slade explains about Raven being a pawn in Trigon's game, Raven tells them they are both pawns who will soon become insignificant once Trigon gets what he wants. Slade is furious after Raven insinuates that he too was a pawn of Trigon. When he tries to hurt Raven, the fire demon attacks him even though it was his army to begin with. Raven felt pity for him, so she orders the fire demon to let him go and continued without Slade. The time of the prophecy is at hand and Slade meets with Trigon once again to collect what was promised. Trigon explains that he's not obliged to keep his promise as Raven returned of her own free will and claims that he delivered Raven to himself. Slade insists that he delivered his part of the bargain and holds Trigon to his word. Trigon mocks and laughs at him that Slade uses his powers at him, but it was ineffective against the one who gave him the powers in the first place. Given that Trigon gave him these powers, it goes to reason that he can also take them, which he does. He was then tossed aside after being used in his devious plan. The fateful night finally arrives when all the planets are aligned and magic is at its highest. Raven is ready to fulfill the prophecy as her destiny deems it so, when suddenly the Teen Titans come crashing in on them. When the fire demons stop them, Raven uses her powers and dismisses the fire demons. Robin tries to convince her to fight her destiny, but Raven insists that knowing what she knows now, she believes there's no fighting her destiny. She explains that she tried to control the darkness inside her and do good things hoping that it would somehow make up for the horrible things she was destined to do. All she wanted to do was give her friends the best last day, but instead spent it worrying about herself. When Robin claims that's what friends do, Raven quickly steps back and asks them if they genuinely were friends, that they would let her go. She then uses her powers to cast a barrier between herself and the Titans. The barrier is unbreakable, even against the Teen Titans' combined power. Raven then casts the incantation and fulfills the prophecy of Trigon, crossing over to Earth. Raven's body vanishes as it turns into a portal while Trigon's massive hand reaches out from within. With Trigon finally on Earth, he claims Earth is his and unleashes his powers at it, destroying everything in the blink of an eye. Robin later wakes up in a devastated world alone, unsure of what happened. As he regrets being unable to save Raven, he later realizes that he failed to save everyone else as they all turn to stone. He later realizes a Raven is following him and thinks it must be Raven. He chases after it towards a tall building, taking a long look at what happened to the world. When the floor he was standing on crumbles and falls, he's caught just in time by Cyborg, who helps him back up and reunited with the rest of the Titans. Robin explains that he saw a raven and it led him here, to which the others claim the same thing happened to them. While contemplating how they survived when everyone else didn't, they suspect it was Raven's doing. When Cyborg gets hopeless, Robin claims there is still hope. As long as they're alive, there's still a chance. As they rallied to continue fighting, they put their hands in as a show of determination when they suddenly discovered they had new powers. It turns out that despite Raven being unable to stop Trigon, she left them her powers so they could still fight him. Having used Raven's powers before, Starfire claims their power grows stronger if they are together. As Trigon rests to recover his powers, the Titans ambush and attack him together. Their powers were ineffective, so they use their trump card, Raven's power, against Trigon. The Titans attack Trigon with Raven's powers, fueled by strong emotions of anger. Although it looked effective against Trigon, he laughs at their efforts and blows them away with a fraction of his power. The Titans find themselves back where they lost Raven, who sacrificed herself to save them. Beast Boy wants to leave as it keeps him reminded of the grim events that happened there. But Cyborg explains that there's nowhere to go. Robin replays the events in his head, and although they saw Raven vanish before them to become the portal, he feels as if Raven was never gone. Suddenly, a voice from the shadows confirms Robin's suspicion, revealing it is Slade Wilson. Seeing Slade in person, the Titans attack suddenly, but he doesn't fight back. Slade claims that he isn't there to fight, but to help them save Raven. When he claims that Raven can still be saved, Starfire charges at him, pinning him to the wall. 
Slade explains that he regrets working with Trigon, and after what Trigon did, even he wouldn't wish for it to happen to the world. Although they witness Raven destroyed to become a portal, Slade explains that only a part of her existence vanished when she fulfilled the prophecy, and that another part of her remains. Robin questions his intentions, but Slade evades the question and diverts their attention back to what needs to be done. In order to save Raven, only one may take the journey to save her. Beast Boy claims that she's their friend and that they are all going. But Slade advises otherwise, given that Trigon is an all-seeing demon, and that his mind can be anywhere at any time. For them to succeed, the others will divert Trigon's attention to them, while Robin goes with Slade to bring back Raven. Cyborg is concerned that they didn't do so well the first time they confronted Trigon, but Slade explains that they didn't need to win but rather grab his attention so they could sneak in and rescue Raven. Slade presents them with the Ring of Azar to help them survive the fight against Trigon. It was forged by the same order that imprisoned Trigon and reassures them that it works based on his experience. Robin then follows Slade into a winding staircase where Trigon crosses over while the rest return to Trigon. The rest of the Teen Titans go to find Trigon to carry on with their mission. Beast Boy transforms into a small bird and flies into Trigon's ear. Once inside, he transforms into a whale, giving Trigon an excruciating headache. Starfire then tosses Cyborg at Trigon, which he attacks with a focused laser, but Trigon deflects it back at him. Furious about the sudden ambush, Trigon attacks them with his power, but the Ring of Azar protects them as promised by Slade. Thinking it's just a bother, Trigon claims fighting them is beneath him and instead uses his powers to draw out the darkness inside of them to create doppelgangers that have their faces and powers. Trigon claims that they are their own worst enemies. Beast Boy's fight with his doppelganger is a match of who can transform into a better monster as they try to defeat each other's beast transformation. Meanwhile, Cyborg's fight with his doppelganger is a power struggle between machine versus machine and steel versus steel. The evil Cyborg claims that they have 35 weak spots, which he is taking advantage of. He then makes fun of Cyborg, joking about how he will now go crying to his mommy, but sadly, he doesn't have a mom. Furious, Cyborg stands back up, unleashing every weapon at his disposal which his evil counterpart also does in retaliation. Starfire's fight takes them into the air, who attacks each other fiercely. Evil Starfire taunts her, claiming she gets distracted worrying about Robin and threatens to tell Trigon where he is. Furious, she charges at her, but the evil Starfire later overpowered her. She claims that she reminds her of her sister. She tried to provoke her by saying she would have Robin to herself with her gone, in a fit of rage, Starfire breaks free from her grip and sends her flying with a punch. On their way to saving Raven, Robin wonders what could have driven Slade to work with Trigon and suspects he sold their world for personal gain. Slade claims that not everything is black and white and would rather keep his reasons to himself. Trigon's fire demons suddenly surround them and they both prepare to fight their way through. They are forced to fight side by side, covering each other's backs. Despite the overwhelming number, Slade claims it's nothing that two friends can't handle. But Robin objects that they are not friends. When Slade is being pulled to the edge of the platform and into the lava, Robin comes to his rescue, realizing that he needs Slade to save Raven. They then broke through their enemies together, but when surrounded, one of the demons tried to attack Robin. Instead of covering his back, Slade dodged the attack and left Robin to fend for himself. Slade claims that old habits die hard. Slade got caught off guard and his mask dropped. Robin is shocked to find Slade's skull and bones and wonders what he is. When Slade tries to dismiss his curiosity by explaining it was just a temporary condition, Robin insistently asks him what he is or to face the enemies by himself. Slade tells him of how he came to be undead. After his unfortunate incident with his last apprentice, Terra, he fell into smoldering lava when Terra attacked him in a fit of rage. When he was supposed to be dead, he was suddenly saved by Trigon, an interdimensional demon. Trigon offers to return his body the way it was, but in exchange he has to follow his orders. 
He admits that he did enjoy the benefits of being given the new power, and an army of fire demons to command. When he was about to collect his reward, it didn't turn out so well, and Trigon went back on his word, hence why he's now helping them save their friend. When they come to a fork in the road, Slade tells him that this is where they part, as he still has things he needs to handle. Before they part, Robin claims that helping them doesn't change anything, and that should they meet again in the future, he will not show him any mercy to which Slade agrees. Robin continues his journey to save Raven when fire demons surround him. He managed to single-handedly defeat them all and reach a ruined church where he noticed a faint presence moving in the shadows. He follows it to find a scared young Raven who has no memory of him. Starfire later regains consciousness after being knocked out by Evil Starfire. Evil Starfire wonders why they continue to struggle. As it is already pointless given that the world has already ended, Starfire stands back up and continues fighting. But her evil counterpart is stronger and she falls back down. Trigon claims their pointless struggles keep him entertained. Although the Ring of Azar protects them against his power, he explains it is unnecessary as they're about to be defeated by their own demons. The Teen Titans are being pushed back against their evil selves. Beast Boy claims he can no longer take any more beating, but Starfire explains that they need to keep it up if they want to keep Trigon distracted. Their plans are later revealed to Trigon by evil Starfire, to which Trigon claims he already knew about Robin's rescue mission before they even started. Although they had prior knowledge of their plans, he claims their plan presented no threat to him and chose to ignore it. He explains that they appear to have underestimated the extent of his power. He admitted that Raven still exists, but the Raven they knew is lost forever. Whatever remained is just a shell of whoever she was. Despite their best efforts, the Titans are no match against their evil counterparts, to which Starfire suggests if they're unable to defeat their other halves, then perhaps they could defeat each other? After Cyborg gives the signal, they switch opponents, Starfire charges Evil Cyborg, Beast Boy attacks Evil Starfire, while Cyborg takes on Evil Beast Boy. Having defeated their evil doppelgangers, Trigon stands up and attacks them. Trigon claims that their fighting is meaningless and merely prolongs the outcome. He then uses his powers to summon an army of fire demons and unleash them all on the Titans. Meanwhile, Robin tries to calm down the young Raven, explaining that he's a friend and doesn't want to hurt her, but she still runs away. He hides in a crevice in the wall, but when Robin tries to reach out to her, she kicks him and runs away. Robin catches up to her and tries to make her remember him, but she tells him she's lost. He tells her not to be afraid and that he can help her if she lets him. After much convincing, young Raven agrees to go with Robin, who carries her on his back. Hoping it would jog her memory, he tells her the story of Raven, of how she was a member of the Teen Titans and that they fought evil together. He describes her as brave and smart, but she's always worried that deep down inside of her is darkness, so she used to distance herself from others. As they were climbing a wall, the lava splits apart and a horde of fire demons fly towards the portal, destroying the ceiling and collapsing in on them. Young Raven falls off of Robin's back, so Robin brazenly jumps after her, saving them both. While still catching their breath after a near-death experience, Young Raven asks Robin why he would go to such lengths for her. Robin suspects that she has her memory, which she confirms. After Robin told her the story, Raven remembers bits and pieces from before she became the portal like it was a nightmare. Although Robin is hopeful there's still a way, Raven insists that nobody can stop Trigon, that much she remembers. She claims he came all this way for nothing as she lost her powers when Trigon was done with her. Robin explains that even if it's the end of the world, the Teen Titans are still fighting, Raven feels helpless for without her powers, she is unable to do anything, but Robin comforts her by saying that he will carry hope for the both of them. Meanwhile, Slade has reached the deepest parts of Trigon's world, where he arrives at a big steel door protected by a guard with a giant axe. The guard tells him that his journey ends here, as what he seeks cannot be reclaimed. Slade claims he understands, but he doesn't have anything to lose at this point. 
Slade struggles with the guard, but eventually throws him into the lava. When he slowly approaches the door, the guard came out of the lava unscathed. Slade is raring to go for round two, but the guard manages to graze him with his axe. Little did he know that Slade put a bomb on the door, which he blows up when the guard was against it. When the door exploded, Slade's body returns to normal, and he got himself a new weapon. Having fully recovered his powers, Trigon cuts a rift in the sky, sending his army to conquer other worlds. Meanwhile, the Teen Titans are chased by Trigon's fire demons who catch up to them. When they try to fend them off, Robin arrives and saves them. When he explains the situation with Raven to them, Cyborg worries that Raven will not be able to help them. Robin says that they must fight and prepare the team for one final attack. When Beast Boy feels assured they still have the Ring of Azar to protect them, Starfire shows that it was broken from the last attack. Robin talks to Raven before they make their last stand when Trigon suddenly shows up. Robin leads the team to attack him, but his powers easily catch them. Out of nowhere, Slade shows up with the axe that he got from the guard he fought earlier and cuts off one of Trigon's horns. The final battle with Trigon starts and the Teen Titans give him everything they've got. Even Slade joins in on their fight claiming he's nobody's servant. Raven is in disbelief witnessing Trigon hurting from the attacks as opposed to what she was led to believe. Furious, Trigon unleashes his powers on the team which takes them all out. Raven sees his unconscious friends and runs to Robin, begging him to get up, but he doesn't respond. Trigon notices her and says his farewell before attacking. But Raven accidentally creates a shield to protect her and Robin from Trigon's attack. Although shocked that Raven still has her powers, Trigon claims she's no threat to him. He claims that he is her master and that she exists to serve him. After a bright light covers her, she returns to her usual self, attacking Trigon with her newfound power. She explains that fathers are supposed to be kind and protect their children, unlike him, who manipulated and used her. She claims the monks of Azeroth protected her and that her friends raised her. She thinks of the Titans as her family and Earth as her home and banishes Trigon, claiming he's not welcome. Raven uses her powers and a bright light covers everything, returning it to how it was before Trigon destroyed it. When everything returns to normal and Trigon is gone, the Titans are still in disbelief over Raven's new powers and look. Raven claims it was thanks to Robin who continued to believe in her even if she didn't as she hugged him tight. Beast Boy wonders if she still is the same Raven they knew because she was hugging and smiling. Raven claims she is the same person they know and tells him not to get used to the smile as she still doesn't think he's funny. Beast Boy immediately hugs her after the honest comment. Back at the Titan's Tower, Cyborg offers to cook for the team after a hard day's work. Starfire tried to be funny, to which both Cyborg and Beast Boy found amusing. Raven tells Robin that Slade got away, but Robin claims they will be ready for him even if he ever shows up again. Raven confronts Robin and asks him how he remains optimistic even after everything that has just happened. Robin explains that it's because of her, as he finds her to be the most optimistic person he has ever met. He explains that ever since she was born, she was constantly told that she was evil and destined to do unspeakable things. Despite it all, she wished to become more than her destiny and become a hero. Raven and Robin later join the others to have fun. The End Thank you so much for watching. Please check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.